In a significant escalation of the mpox crisis, the disease, formerly known as monkeypox, has been declared a public health emergency across Africa. This alarming development comes as the continent grapples with a rapidly spreading new strain of the virus, which has already claimed numerous lives and continues to spread across national borders. There have been cases throughout the globe, with quite a few hitting our northern neighbor of Canada. In Toronto, public health officials are sounding the alarm as cases of mpox continue to climb. As of the end of July, the city has confirmed 93 cases, a stark increase from the 21 cases reported during the same time frame last year. The majority of these cases are concentrated in the downtown area, prompting a renewed push for vaccination among eligible residents. Mpox is transmitted through close personal contact, often through intimate or sexual interactions. Health officials have noted that it spreads mostly between people who have had close-slash-intimate or sexual contact with a person who has the virus, with gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men being most affected. The urgency of the situation is underscored by a recent declaration from the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, which has labeled the outbreak of public health emergency of continental security. This follows reports of approximately 15,000 cases and 461 deaths across 18 countries. Mpox is caused by the monkeypox virus, MPXV, and can spread through direct contact with the bodily fluids, sores, or even items such as bedding and towels used by an infected person. Symptoms range from fever and headache to a characteristic rash that involves flat, liquid-filled blisters. The World Health Organization emphasizes the importance of symptom management in treatment, aiming to take care of the rash, manage pain, and prevent complications. Toronto Public Health is advocating for vaccination against Mpox, particularly targeting the LGBTQ2S community and those who engage in activities that increase the risk of exposure. The Invimian vaccine, requiring two doses spaced 28 days apart, is recommended for pre-exposure prevention. For those who may have already been exposed, health officials advise that the post-exposure vaccine should ideally be administered within four days of contact, although it can be given up to 14 days after exposure. Residents who believe they may be infected with Mpox are urged to seek medical advice and isolate themselves to prevent further spread of the virus. It is important to note that those currently or recently infected with Mpox should not receive the vaccine. As Toronto grapples with this public health challenge, the focus remains on awareness, prevention, and timely intervention to curb the spread of Mpox. Public health officials continue to monitor the situation closely, providing updates and guidance to keep the community safe. The international community is keeping a close watch, with health authorities outside Africa assessing the potential risk of the outbreak spreading further. While the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control has assessed the risk in Europe as very low, vigilance remains high. Also, don't get too worried about it hitting the US, at least not yet. Despite no confirmed cases on American soil, the Missouri Department of Health has echoed a concerning directive from the CDC. CDC recommends clinicians and jurisdictions in the United States maintain a heightened index of suspicion for Mpox. The recent headline from the U.S. Sun about the troubling return of monkeypox to the U.S. further complicates the narrative. It has many people panicking. Is the virus already here, lurking undetected? Or are these warnings a mere precaution? Missouri's health officials are likely playing it safe, preparing for the possibility that the virus could enter our borders via international travelers. This proactive approach is arguably a responsible measure in safeguarding public health against an unpredictable viral threat. It is better to be overly cautious and prepared than to be caught off guard, especially in matters as critical as our public health.